For this tutorial we're going to be looking at how I can use the broadcast command to pass messages between different sprites and then use the, those pass messages to start activities for different, stri different sprites based on what other sprites are doing. Now it's a pretty complicated uh, concept so you might have to watch this a couple of times. I'm actually going to name my sprites differently because it helps uh, keep things a little bit more clear in this case so we know which sprite is sending which message. Now for this one I'm actually going to set up a fairly complicated um, <clears throat> a fairly complicated scene for these tutorials. I'm going to need a couple of more sprites uh, just to illustrate what it is that I'm doing. So I'll bring in the bat and again like I say I'm going to name these things so that they're nice and clear and I'm going to bring in one more sprite which is the dog I could use any any sprites for these it doesn't matter so now I've got the dog and that's dog okay so I've got my three sprites the cat the dog and the bat and I'm actually going to to add another thing that sometimes uh, st I find students struggle with which is actually the stage itself and the idea of having of having certain events cause the background in the stage to change. So I'm going to go to the stage, I'm going to copy the first background which I'll call the white background and the second background and we're going to call that one the well let's see what what are we going to what color will we make it? I'm just going to fill it in a nice uh, a light color but something we'll be able to see. So here's a here's a light yellow. So we'll call that one yellow. and I'll copy that and edit and now I will make another background uh, let's see a something again that's pretty easy to, uh, to see that's a light blue okay so that'll work so I've got yellow and then I have blue okay so I've got these three backgrounds I've got three sprites there's gonna be a lot of stuff happening here so the first thing that we're going to start with is we're actually going to use the bat to control the activity of the dog and then we're going to wait and see what happens. So the first thing that's going to happen is my control is going to be when I start the program when the flag is clicked then what's going to happen is the bat is going to broadcast a message and so that message is going to be an instruction for the dog called get the cat. Now the dog is not going to understand that this means anything. I'm just using these three words, get the cat, so that I can keep track of what this message is for. So as soon as the program starts, it's basically like the, the, uh, the bat is saying to every sprite in the, uh, in the world that it should, get the, it should get the cat. And so the dog is going to be the sprite that listens for that. So when the program is start is started, actually we don't need to do that for the dog. The dog is actually going to, it's not going to do anything when the flag is clicked. It's going to do something when it receives the broadcast, get the cat. And what's it going to do when that happens? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the dog is going to, I'm going to have it point towards the cat. And I'm going to have it move forward by 10 steps. And I'm also going to put in a little bit of a time delay so we can actually watch this happening. So let's say point one. Now I'm going to need to do this over and over again until I actually reach the cat. So uh, to do that I'm probably going to put in a loop. There are a number of loops to choose from. I'm going to repeat until, so this is what I'm going to repeat. Point towards the cat, move towards the cat, and then wait point one seconds. Now how long should I repeat that? Under what conditions? And I'm going to use the distance to command. So I'm going to base it on the distance to the cat. How far is the dog from the cat? Because once I get close enough, I can stop moving. So I'm going to say when that distance, so when the distance from the dog to the cat is less than, let's say, about 10, then I'm done. So I'm going to start moving, I'm going to look basically turn towards the cat, move towards the cat, wait a moment and I'm going to repeat this over and over again until my distance is less than 10. 
And once I'm less than 10, I figure I'm close enough, I've reached the cat. And then once that happens, I'm actually going to have the dog say that I caught the cat. He's quite happy about it. Say that for two seconds. And then the dog is going to broadcast its own message. So it will broadcast. Now it's not going to broadcast get the cat. Let's pick something new. And how about reached the cat. So then it will broadcast the message reach the cat. Now this second message, what am I going to use it for? Well, I'm going to use these two broadcast messages, get the cat and reach the cat. And I'm actually going to use those to change the backgrounds. So what I'm going to do is for the yellow background, right, when I want to switch from white to yellow, I'm going to do that when I receive that first message. So again, when I receive the message, get the cat. So I'm actually, when I say I, this is the stage. So when the stage receives get the cat, then I'm going to move to the next background. And then when I receive reach the cat, I'm also going to move to the next background. So you can see that I use these different broadcast messages. So the first message will be received as soon as we start the program. So when I click the program, the bat is going to, and actually again, I'm going to put a little bit of a delay in here. Um, just so, actually let's do it with a message. So I'm going to have the bat say, dog go get the cat for two seconds. And then the bat will broadcast the command get the cat. That will send the dog going after the cat until it reaches the cat, until it's within 10 units of the cat, then it will say I caught the cat and it will broadcast reach the cat. For the stage itself, when the first message gets sent, it's going to switch to the yellow background. When the second message gets sent, it's going to switch to the blue background. And so let's go ahead and run the whole thing. So the first thing that's going to take place, here it is, it's going to be the bat. I run this, it says dog go get the cat, the broadcast occurs, the dog moves, the background changed. The dog reaches the cat, broadcast occurs, another background change. So as you can see, we've got a lot of things happening here, and the command that is coordinating all of it is the broadcast command and the when I receive command, which waits for a broadcast. I hope you find that useful. This is a really powerful tool in any kind of programming. This is called event programming and Scratch does a good job of letting you use event programming to coordinate between sprites and the, and the background of the stage.